If you're looking to improve your aim, then make sure to check out Control Freak and use the code OGXRACE to get 10% off all the products. Link in the description below. Yo guys, what's up? It's X-Rays. Welcome back to another Black Ops 4 kind of slash Modern Warfare 4 video. Uh, today we're going to be talking about something that might be affecting both of these games. Black Ops 4, Modern Warfare 4, possibly other Call of Duties in the future. But this is a new bill that was introduced today to ban loot boxes and pay to win microtransactions in video games. Now, this could be huge because if this bill does pass and we're not going to be able to see or we won't be seeing any loot boxes in any future games that do release here in the US. Now, we might still see that kind of stuff in other countries, but uh, it's definitely not going to be in the US if it does pass here. All right, so I did also want to side note and mention that off the watch time that I've had this month in May, 58% of it is from non-subscribed YouTube channels. So if you are watching the video, if you enjoyed it and want to see more, make sure you subscribe, slap on those notifications so we don't miss any videos. But Again, if you are a viewer and if you're enjoying the content, make sure to help out the channel and subscribe. It really, really is appreciated. So the other interesting thing is that this is not something that is new to Call of Duty. There actually was something like this where I can't remember where exactly it was, but I do remember vaguely hearing that there is a version of Call of Duty where there is no loot boxes uh, and you have to unlock everything like or just straight up buy them. I forgot. I think it was Jordan or Equali Espresso who was telling me about that. So there is a version of Black Ops 4 where you are. There is no chance of you using loot boxes, which is essentially what I heard from him. But this would be huge if it came to the US because that means that there would be no supply drops or reserves or stuff like that in the game. Now, I don't think that Call of Duty has any pay to win microtransactions. And so I don't think they're going to be affected by that. But definitely the whole uh, loot box thing will be affecting them. So let's read the article that was posted on Charlie and Tully. They did a really, really good job summarizing everything. And we'll talk about this because a lot of games would be affected by this. You know, uh, FIFA games, uh, Call of Duty. Uh, a lot of uh, actually even like free to play games also so we'll definitely see about that because i think they did use a free to play game uh, as like their their primary like evidence that this is bad and harmful for minors so let's talk about it so it says senator josh hawley has announced that he is introducing a bill to the senate floor that will ban loot boxes and pay to win microtransactions in video games that are played by minors this bill targets games that are played by those under 17 so here's the thing the minimum age i think for call of duty is 17 so you need to be 17 to technically or legally be playing this game obviously that's not true there's a whole bunch of like 12 year olds and 10 year olds and maybe even under that age group who are playing this game but legally they try to sell their game to 17 year olds and older and so this would still affect them at first i was thinking like oh it might not affect but uh, they might just make it so that they can lower or up that up to 18 so they can legally still have the loot boxes in there but i digress let's keep reading it says the bill is called the protecting children from abusive games act does that spell anything out tpc a g t okay no. <laughs> i don't know what spell something out it says when a game is designed for kids game developers shouldn't be allowed to monetize addiction holly said and when kids play games designed for adults they should be walled off from compulsive microtransactions game developers who knowingly exploit children should face legal consequences Games targeted at those under age of 18, this would determinately be subject matter, visual content, and other indicators similar to those used to determine applicability of the Children's Online Privacy Protection Act, or COPPA. Games with wider audiences whose developers knowingly allow minors to engage in microtransactions. Call of Duty is rated mature, and the game is meant for players 17 years or older in the US, but this bill is broad enough to target against games that have pay to win style microtransactions. This ban would affect other games across the industry like Blizzard's Overwatch, EA titles like FIFA, Apex, and even some ways Fortnite save the world mode. In a press release, Senator Hawley gave an example of Candy Crush Microtransactions, a game owned by Activision Blizzard. It says, quote, social media and video games prey on user addiction, siphoning our kids' attention from the real world and extracting profits from fostering compulsive habits, unquote. Hawley said, quote, no matter this business model's advantage to the tech industry, one thing is clear, there is no excuse for exploiting children through such practices, unquote. Loot boxes and microtransactions 
has been a big issue in the game industry the last several years as more developers have implemented such systems in their games. The major shift in public opinion on loot boxes started after EA's Star Wars Battlefront 2 controversy with the title having immense pay to win features across the board. The Entertainment Software Association sent us the following statement in regard to the US Senator's new bill. Quote, numerous countries including Ireland, Germany, Sweden, Denmark, Australia, New Zealand and the United Kingdom determined that loot boxes do not constitute gambling. We look forward to sharing with the senators the tools and information that industry already provided to keep in control of in-game spending in parents' hands. Parents already have the ability to limit or prohibit in-game purchases with the easy-to-use parental controls." Unquote. And this was said by Stanley Pierre Lewis, the acting president and CEO, Entertainment Software Association. Now, this is very interesting now because it could technically affect Call of Duty because, uh, like I said, the minimum age that they try to have this is geared towards 17 year olds. This bill is for 18 and under. So they could kind of make it so you have to be 19 years old. I don't know if there's a ESRB rating for that, but uh, it definitely is going to be very, very interesting if this does pass, which I am not guessing it will. I don't think it will because I think there have been bills like this in the past that have not made it across. So it might just be something to scare him, or maybe it's just a publicity stunt, I don't know. But if it does pass, this would greatly affect the way that monetization happens in games like Call of Duty, Overwatch, even, like they said, Fortnite in their Save the World portion. So it's going to be interesting. What do you guys think about this down in the comment section below? But you probably wouldn't be seeing reserves or supply drops, uh, especially if this does pass then it would affect games like Call of Duty Modern Warfare 4 when it comes out. So it'll be interesting. We'll definitely have to see about that. Now, the other thing that I wanted to mention about this was that, you know, they mentioned the whole gambling aspect to this because they are essentially trying to pass this because they're saying that there's a lot of kids who are getting addicted to this idea of gambling. And it, it is essentially gambling because you're spending money to try to open up a box that gives you a chance of unlocking something cool. So in a sense, it is kind of gambling and it is a, a, it could be, I should say, a very addicting thing. And, you know, some adults can't control themselves. Now, imagine kids and those parents who maybe have these kids spending a ton of money on buying stuff. There's actually a, a recent incident that was actually, well, it wasn't super recent, but a few months ago, I uh, realized that I had an expense on my own account and it was like 60 bucks that was spent in Fortnite. And this was from um, like a friend's uh, little brother, his younger brother actually ended up using uh, my brother's Xbox. So my account is connected to my brother's Xbox account. He lent his Xbox to his friend and his friend's little brother started buying a whole bunch of skins and stuff in the item shop. And I know it's my fault for not having like a little password protection thing, but at the end of the day, I, I, he paid me back for that, which, you know, totally cool of him to do and obviously expected. But the point is that this is true. Like this kid knew what he was old enough to know what he was doing and he still spent the money because he wanted those skins and he wanted to play as those skins now i know this kind of falls outside of that because this is supposed to be for pay to win stuff and then also the whole loot box thing and honestly in fortnite they don't have that you know exactly what you're getting when you purchase it but again same idea there's a lot of people who don't have or think don't think rationally when they are addicted to something and i understand why they're doing it and it'll be interesting because i do think that Back in the day when Black Ops 1 came out, if you guys remember, they used to have those uh, high stakes wagers and just wager matches where you could use the COD points or COD earning money that you got from playing the game. Uh, you could use that for unlocking camos and stuff like that. And well, they implemented those party modes, like those party games, like one in the chamber, sticks and stones, uh, etc. And you would essentially bet the money that you had, like small amounts, if it was a smaller one or if it was high stakes, it was quite a bit of those COD earnings or COD points, whatever they were called back then. I can't remember what they were called. But I remember, or I think I saw someone say that the reason that we have never seen that return to Call of Duty was because of the whole gambling aspect. There was a lot of kids who were maybe, and not that it was really affecting them in any way because you couldn't really put your money in towards that. But I always remember people going, well, how come they don't use the cryptocurrency or like the armory credits that were in World War II to create, again, the high stake wagers and stuff like that. But if I remember correctly, it was because it was very borderline and they decided that they couldn't do it anymore 
because it was a form of gambling. And so uh, if this does pass, it's going to make it very difficult for any game studio to try to put loot boxes out there, if any at all. Or maybe, who knows, they'll find a way to get around it. But again, like they mentioned in this article, it's not strange. We've had a lot of people complaining about this, especially after Star Wars Battlefront 2. We've had a lot of controversy even within Black Ops 4 recently with the new addition of a ton of content. There's a ton of duplicates and there's a bunch of content in there separated by items and, and guns. And, you know, a lot of people were upset. So if I had to guess, are people going to be up in arms? Anyone who plays games like Overwatch or Call of Duty or even Apex Legends? Probably not. Uh, they're probably not going to be uh, upset or angry at this because if this does happen, then there's going to be more content that you can straight up buy like in Fortnite and you know exactly what you're getting. Now, we don't know what, what would happen to prices and stuff, but at the end of the day, I feel like the consumer or the person who plays the game wouldn't really care and wouldn't really be affected in their opinion because if anything, they'd be happy that they have a chance to unlock their favorite thing just by getting it straight up or doing something. I don't remember exactly... Uh, what would happen or what Call of Duty would do, but if I had to guess, they'd probably just sell stuff directly as opposed to in reserve. So let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, do me a huge favor, drop a like, guys. It's super, super appreciated and incredibly helpful. And if you are new to the channel, if you want to see even more videos like these, I'm going to have a ton more Call of Duty Black Ops 4 news, info, rumors, leaks, and more coming. So make sure you guys are subscribed and have notifications on so you don't miss a single upload here on the channel. If you guys want to support the channel directly, you guys can do so by checking out my channel memberships. You get access to early content, exclusive videos, special badges, and a whole bunch of other stuff. So check it out only if you're willing and able to. And then last but not least, if you guys want to talk about anything, Twitter is the best place to do so. I'm constantly talking over there. Go ahead and give me a follow at OGX series. I will have a link down below. You guys have an awesome day. Take care. I'm out. Peace.